we started, we get the reaction of, well, I, I gave up Pilsners back when I was in high school, you know, that's Bud Miller, Lone Star kind of stuff. Not when you're making one like they make in Central Europe. Brewing, you think of the big doubles, we've got a pretty darn good example. It's very complex, a bit on the malty side, and it comes in just about 8%. That's what we call Galena. today is going to be a 100% spontaneously fermented beer, letting wort or unfermented beer sit out overnight in this vessel called a cool ship where it becomes inoculated by native microorganisms that exist in the night air. is going to be an Imperial Rye IPA. 20% rye for 20 years. Very hoppy, pale in color. It's going to be awesome. One of the things that we wanted to do was recognize all the people that helped us get here. And so we just reached out to as many people as we could. We called it a, a rye union. Hard work. It's a lot of physical, manual labor. Grunt work. <laughs> yeah. There's things that can happen that really kind of make it a uh, sweaty, intimate situation of stress and troubleshooting. Come in on Monday and wear your boots, and if you're still here on Friday, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> to really become an expert in the whole thing is near on impossible, and that's what us small guys are doing. We're having to be jack of all trades, masters of none, but we're trying.